So um, I'm going to start the evening tonight in a way that you should always start a good story, and that is, once upon a time, 450 days ago, on November the 7th, 2017, we held the first event around the strategic plan and began it. And uh, Dr. Robbins was uh, with us to help us with that launch, and it's only appropriate that at the completion, the celebration of the plan that you're here. So thank you very much. Um, I'm going to be making introductions later, and, and uh, Dr. Robbins will be speaking. But uh, since that time, over those 450 days, uh, we've had 737 different engagements in regards to surveys and focus groups and voting online, uh, workshops and task forces, which has led us to today. And as I scan across the room, and actually I'm in a very good vantage point uh, perched up here, uh, that I can say, I think, um, with, with great clarity that everyone, everyone in this room has been involved in the development of this plan, either directly or indirectly. And regardless of what you did in terms of the participation in this plan, I want to say one thing, thank you. So. There are uh, some people here, some special guests. Uh, of course, we have President Robbins. Uh, and we have, we were expecting uh, Jeff Goldberg. I think these are people are also will be joining us uh, through this, this uh, presentation. Uh, J.P. Rosniak, also the president of the University of Arizona Foundation. And Steve Moore, the senior vice president, uh, chief marketing and communications officer for the university. Bob Smith, who's an alumnus of ours is a Vice President for the University of Planning, Design, and uh, Operations. Andy Schultz, uh, who is our newest Dean at the University and also our closest neighbor. Uh, and uh, welcome, Andy. It's lovely to see you here. We are also expecting Lisa Ordonez. And uh, of course, Lisa is a Vice Dean of Academic uh, Programs, but also played a major role in terms of the University Strategic Plan as a co-chair with Elliot Chu. Uh, Tillman Moyers here. I saw Tillman. Tillman, uh, Vice President, Maine Campus Development, and Esther Sternberg is here, uh, who's a research director of the Arizona Center for Integrative Medicine, as well as a founding director of the Institute on Place, Well-Being, and Performance. And I believe we also have Irene Ogata here, who is the the Kapla alumna uh, of the year for 2018. But I have to tell you that the biggest cheerleader that we've had through this whole process has been the president. And I personally want to thank you, Bobby, for your support through the whole process, for, for bookending this uh, for us as well uh, over these 450 days. But I also want to thank you, Bobby, personally, for inviting me to be part of the university strategic planning uh, process as a member of the advisory committee because that did two things, I think. It, was, it helped, I think, uh, bring a design and planning perspective to the university plan, but also it ensured that we within the college were aligning with what the university uh, did, and I think we've aligned very, very well. So Bobby, we're very honored to have you here, and I just may I call upon you now just to give us a few words. Good evening, everyone. I, I apologize for not uh, wearing the proper attire. We've been retreating all day, and I didn't have time to run home and get a suit on to, for this incredible occasion. So I'm underdressed, but I, uh, I, I'm part of the building a changing world here. Uh, I, I'm going to go change now before I go to my <laughs> next one. Um, but uh, congratulations. Thank you. Everyone who's worked on this plan, uh, Nancy, when you came, uh, you, were, you were getting into that 400 day. Every night I watch Brian Williams and he says, day 772 of the Trump administration. So I thought you might be going there a little bit, but you stopped. Um, you coming to uh, the university was incredible for me personally, because as I, I think I've said before, when I arrived in Houston, I 
I was asked to address 300 architects like within the first month and I told them I know nothing about uh, architecture uh, or design or planning, um, uh, but I did read the Fountainhead and um, most people didn't give me a very positive response to that. I think now, five years later, uh, I have a great appreciation for what all of you do and for what all the students are learning to, uh, to do as a future career. And, uh, you know, the, the built environment, Nancy, you brought, uh, just like Andy is bringing uh, to the whole university, the idea that uh, your strategic plan uh, around building a changing world is incorporated across the entire strategic plan of the university, across all five pillars, and I am very appreciative of that. Uh, and you brought a, a perspective given that you had just come off of a strategic planning process from your, your previous institution, and you, you gave uh, incredible guidance and, and sage advice to the whole process. So thank you for being a part of that. And many of you in the room, Brooks is here, uh, who, uh, who, who is a, a leader in that planning process, and I'm really excited about it. Um, now, we've been retreating over the last couple of days about now we're going into the implementation phase uh, and we're getting into the prioritization phase and most importantly no money no mission how we're going to pay for it so uh, you know you, you'll be hearing more about that um, i couldn't sleep last night so when i came in this morning and we continued our retreat uh, i was i was somewhat uh, uh, anxious i i started to call everyone about two in the morning and say we're pulling an all-nighter. I know you were. I know you were. As I always say, I'm, my only concern is you're not concerned enough and you say, I'll call you at three in the morning when I'm up thinking about all these things. Thanks for being here, Jeff. Uh, and, and also, uh, I know how important Barbara's role in, in your part of this plan and in the university plan was. And uh, I had the uh, great fortune to know her uh, before we uh, packed up the bags and got the band together back here in the desert from Houston and incredible work I her her work in Houston preceded her here and you're we're all incredibly lucky to have you here Barbara and and doing what you're doing so So I, I think that uh, uh, your plan fits beautifully into this whole narrative around the fourth industrial revolution, thinking about uh, how the world is changing, how we need to plan uh, for how we're all gonna live going forward. And you know, it, it sounds very futuristic, but the future is now. All of this is going on and I, I just couldn't be more impressed and proud and happy uh, for all of you uh, for putting this plan together. And, and the book is, of course, being, uh, being in the, in the, the uh, field you're in, it's beautifully uh, apportioned, and there's a, a slant to it that uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna talk about that, I'm sure, and, and inform me. I gave my insight as to what it looked like to me, but I'm not gonna tell you because I don't wanna embarrass myself. So Nancy, thank you for inviting me here this evening. Congratulations. Uh, on a job well done, and uh, I look forward to working with all of you uh, for many years to come. So, uh, just turn myself on here. There we go. Uh, so, thank you, Bobby, for your kind words and the continued partnership that we're enjoying with the Greater University, particularly with building a changing world because this is Penn College. It's, it's right across the university in terms of a dedication to this, uh, this challenge of building a changing world. Um, this is an idea that incidentally came through the process that we had here within the, uh, within the college. And specifically, it came from a working group that we had on research that was led by Gary Pivo, and I've seen Gary here, and also Alethea Ida. And uh, that was important because not only did it inform what we're doing uh, here within the college, but it also went on uh, to the university. So thank you for that. Um, I have emphasized with the president that, yes, we're within the, the research area around building a changing world, but this college will be making contributions right across the, uh, the plan. 
So um, above me, you will see our vision, which is we have completely embraced building a changing world above me here. Um, this is interesting because we landed on this, <laughs> this phrase, and I see various uh, faculty members uh, and, uh, and staff members, there is, you know, when you land upon a phrase, it's always a little difficult to get uh, complete consensus. Uh, so we did um, get building a changing world, and of course this was adopted by the university as well, but you know, we had things like, uh, we were tossed around like building a better world, uh, building an even better world, uh, and I even heard a not so bad world, you know, so <laughs> we got all sorts of things. Below, below that, you'll see our values, our values which were collectively uh, created as a college and adopted and gu guided us through our whole process. Left and right, you will see, uh, starting from the left and, and moving across, you will see our five aspirations. So uh, maybe not unexpectedly, uh, they're within learning and, uh, and teaching and research but we're talking about transformative teaching and transformative research. We're talking about embracing our land grant uh, status. We're also talking about leaders, being leaders in inclusive excellence, and finally being a leader in the built environment in terms of innovation. So the clever centerpieces that you see in front of you, uh, which were produced by our materials lab here and people there um, who are extraordinary, um, on one side, you'll see building a changing world is our vision. If you move it around, you'll see one of the aspirations. Each one of these are different and unique uh, because uh, under each one of those five, you'll see uh, we have a different uh, initiative. And we keep working on those initiatives um, and talk about implementation. Now, I think this is the hardest part of a, of a plan. So the process we used was highly consultative. And uh, I, in fact, spoke with our consultant, an outside consultant today, Kathy Church, and wished she was here. Uh, she's with Strategic Focus Associates. And uh, she did a stellar job. And I know that we're recording this and that she will be seeing this. And just to say thank you, Kathy, uh, for all of the work she did in terms of facilitating this. In fact, others around the university have noticed. Uh, and, I'll, and Kathy actually has been hired by the College of Education as well as the College of Engineering to do similar exercises in terms of the planning uh, that they're now going through. Parallel with Kathy's work, was a work of two wonderful people. Uh, that's Diane and Mark. Diane Brennan. That, that's a song, isn't Diane? <laughs> Mark and Diane. Uh, Diane Brennan and Mark uh, Tromer, who are with the the HR office and and have been really extraordinary in paralleling our process and supporting us in terms of chartering our teams and and helping the facilitation of all of the work that occurred over those 450 days. I also want to thank, and I'm glad you uh, pointed um, out uh, Barbara in this, but I want to thank in particular our, our own Associate Dean Barbara Bryson for bringing to bear your extraordinary abilities, uh, of which there are many, 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 but in particular around strategic planning for the college. So we are very lucky. Thank you, Barbara. Um, but the bulk of the work, and my greatest of thanks, goes to the faculty and staff, the students and alumni, as well as the university community who filled out surveys, who came to early breakfasts, who were uh, tasked to be part of our, our working groups, uh, who went to retreats and uh, voted online and did many, many things through this whole process. We were also inspired, Dr. Robbins, uh, by the notion of a fourth industrial revolution. And that, of course, is becoming the guiding light for the university, but also it was ours when we were doing our plan. So we were asking such questions as, how will design and planning, uh, how will the design and planning industries be practicing in 10 years? How should design and planning schools be preparing students to excel for the future? What are the biggest built and natural environmental issues facing the community to today and tomorrow? And how would we in CAPLA get involved in solving those issues? So now we are in implementation. 
Uh, and what we are now moved towards, we had some task forces working, again, some fantastic uh, groups of thinkers uh, in the college who were developing six different areas. And from that, uh, we voted as a community to decide what, I mean, what do you do first? And you're going through that right now with your retreat. But we decided the most um, uh, impactful things for us to do at this point were to think about curricular innovation, both at an undergraduate and a graduate level. Internationalization of Kapla's enterprises was also another one that we wanted to push on. The other is a revitalization of the college's community outreach institute, which has been on hiatus, which is the Drachman Institute, and our, our, uh, we hope within the next couple of months to bring that forward. And the examination of the feasibility of a doctoral program for Kapla. Another piece we've done is to put in place an advisory group. And this advisory group is called the Futures Council. And this is a group of thinkers, thought leaders from around the country who, when we extended an invitation to them, enthusiastically uh, were, were right, right there, right away saying, yes, we want to be part of this. So we are unveiling tonight the Futures Council and the members of the Futures Council, and I hope I do this right. There we go. So I can't see it, <laughs> and I'll just come over. Okay. So there are three areas of, uh, that we wanted people to come to us, to talk to us about the emerging trends, the opportunities, the challenges in the built environment. People, not just within the professions, but certainly we have them, them there. Uh, we have August Benzian, uh, I can't, I'm going to have to uh, just lean over here a little bit dangerously. Nike, uh, he's with a uh, designer with Nike. Billy Fair, Faircloth, who's with uh, Kieran Timberlake, who's a, a partner. A principal, Angela Watson, who's with Shepley Bullfinch. And principal uh, with Holly Street Studios out uh, of Phoenix is Diane Jacobs. And uh, also we have uh, from SOM, Harry uh, Bias. Um, in, in addition to that, we wanted to have expertise from the academy as well as industry. On the industry stock side, we have from Carlton uh, Fields, um, Brian uh, Olison, and uh, Ash Awad from uh, the Kin Street. So uh, in addition to that, and this was something that people said, are you sure you want to do this, is bring people from other universities and uh, we thought about that and we said absolutely. We want to know what best practice is in other parts of, of uh, the states and to, to find out what are they doing. So we have a couple of deans uh, from other uh, institutions, um, in particular from the University of Kansas, as well as our own Joaquin uh, Ruiz, uh, who's joining us. And we also have interim dean Larry Head uh, from engineering, who's uh, also joining this group and uh, Mahish Das from Kansas, as well as Richard Johnson from uh, Illinois. So with this group, who are going to convene here in February, uh, we're going to have two days with them. I think it's going to be really interesting, not only for the college, uh, in terms of listening to the conversations and engaging in the conversations about these emerging ideas, but also to meet our community and to understand us better as we uh, start to implement um, our s strategic directions. So in closing tonight, I wanted to say that as you exit, there are wonderful student ambassadors who are going to give you a gift, and this gift is the plan. And now you were curious about, why did we do this? It's not a publisher's mistake. <laughs> so that, that, was, that was intentionally done. And I believe this was your idea, Rob. I think it was Rob's idea. <laughs> and we got talking about this notion of, we don't, you know, the old thing, you do a plan, the dust you know, is sitting on the shelf, and, and no one ever takes it out, and so on. So we came up with this idea, actually, Rob came up with this idea um, that, that will really annoy you. Because um, when you look at your bookshelf, um, this always will be looking like it's falling out of the, the bookshelf and it's angled so when you look at the side of it, um, you actually see the idea journal. And the notion is the plan is in here. Um, you will see the plan, be inspired by the plan, 
and you have lots of blank pages in this to put your ideas and innovations and concepts and so on to how are we going to push this, this strategic plan forward. And you know what? They can also put ideas in there for the university too. So, <laughs> so um, it is about thinking. And uh, so with that, uh, that is our plan. This is the launch of the plan. And uh, everyone has a gift as you, as you exit. I also wanted to, because, you know, honestly, I wanted to thank the people, but honestly, this, uh, this, we have the most extraordinary group of, of people in this college. And whenever we have an event, they just step right out up and they just, you know, I'm in my office and I can hear people laughing and I can hear the, you know, into the evening and they're, they're working away, they come in early and they're the ones who have made such a spectacular event here with the book, with the posters, with the banners and all of the things and all the thinking that went into this. And so I'm going to name them if I can uh, see from this angle. And so I want to uh, thank, and if you could put your hand up because we want to uh, express our appreciation. Clarissa and Kay and Barbara and Priscilla, Sammy and Elaine, Lucas and Eric, Priscilla and Adam, Paulus and Emilio, Cindy and Simon. On the student sign, side as Loha, Juan, Eloise, Danielle, and Marcia. Thank you all. So I just, in closing, to say, uh, please enjoy this celebration. Please stay on uh, and enjoy this evening. I want to thank everyone again for making uh, or playing such an important part in the college's success. And so I'm going to close out the story that I began with once upon a time, just to say they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>